Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob. All right guys, so here's the thing. If you're like me, you always try to protect your car or truck the best way you can. So unfortunately, there is a trend going around where people are getting their catalytic converters stolen. I have a 2022 Toyota Tacoma. That's definitely an issue for me, especially with it being higher up off the ground. It's very easy for a thief to get under there, cut out the cats, and then get out. So that's why I've been researching on what is a good way to help protect it. And this is also a good way for you to help protect the catalytic converter on your car. So what I ended up finding was the Miller Cat Corporation Catalytic Converter Shield. So what this is, is essentially it's an aluminum plate that will go underneath my truck and will cover the converter to help make it, uh, you know, a bit less acceptable to thieves. Now it's important to remember though, guys, it's like when I used to have a motorcycle. If someone wants to steal it, they're going to steal it. However, if you can make it enough of a pain for them to steal it, then they might just give up and instead go for an easier target. I know it's kind of a dark truth, but the reality is you just got to make it inconvenient enough that they decide it's not worth it. Let's go find another car or truck to steal it from. So first, let's go ahead and let's unbox this. All right, you guys. So before I open this up, I did want to give a quick note. So Miller Cat Corporation, they actually do sell their catalytic converters on Amazon. That is where I bought mine. If you want to go ahead and check them out, I actually did put a link below to this specific catalytic converter for a 3.5 liter 4x4 Tacoma. They do have a variety of other car and truck, uh, you know, covers on Amazon. So I do recommend checking that out. But if you want this exact one you're gonna watch me install, please go ahead and check the link below. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. So it is aluminum, so it's not the heaviest. So here are the side plates. So basically, it's gonna make um, just a nice little covering shape, right? So we have one side, we have the other side right here. Let's get this out. So it's basically going to be like this on the sides. And now let's get to the main part. All right, so here we do have the instruction manual as well as one of the adapter plates that we will be using to fit it onto the front, as well as, let me open this one up, the security screws. So these are actually pretty nice security screws. Usually the way it works is they should come with, there it is, with the adapter to get it in there. So check these out. So let me get up close to the camera for you. So here's the thing. Everyone always says, you know, what if they want to unscrew it? Personally, I don't think they'll ever really bother to because that's a lot of trouble. But let's check out the end there. It's a security screw. So it's a bit harder to find someone who has this bit on hand. So we'll be using this bit right here. Let's see if I can get the focus in. Barely. But anyways, the bolt. There we go. So let's, let's see how that one works when we go ahead and install it. It also does come with a variety of washers as well to ensure everything fits on it just right. Also the instruction manual as earlier mentioned and then the main part. The actual shield. So it's pretty good. So if I remember correctly, it is a one eighth thickness. People are going to say, you know, I want to go thicker because, you know, there's a chance you're going to try to cut through it. Guys, I, I don't think they're going to want to take the time to cut through anything. You know, when they try to steal this, they're trying to get in and out as fast as they can. They have to cut through stuff. That's going to be a lot of trouble for them. It's also worth noting that the Tacoma's cat is already in a bit of a pain spot for them to get it. You'll see that when we get under there. So now let's go ahead and we're going to put this together and then I can go ahead and install it and then we can go ahead and see how it looks. All right, you guys. So first off, we have to actually put the shield together. So check this out, all right? Both side plates, they actually have the threaded endings. So let me get this a little bit closer for you to see. So the screw is going to go through and thread in right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our main plate. You can see the holes right here. So these are essentially just going to line up. So like this. 
There we go. So dirt is going to line up just like this with the holes and then you just put the included screws and washer screw them. Easy peasy guys, nothing too hard about that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put them in. Let me also do a quick mention that once again, these smaller screws that we will be using here are the security ones, so you do use the security bit. Let's go ahead and let me show you guys how that looks. All right, you guys, so it is done. So remember, you do use the security bit the whole time. So I actually had it going in my trusty drill. Definitely made it much easier. So let's go ahead and check this out. So this is how it's gonna sit underneath the car. So the Kelly converter will be protected. Like I said earlier, it does have these security screws that are pretty good. You know, once again, I don't think they're really gonna try to unscrew it if they really want it. But um, yeah, it's always good to have, better to have and not use it, you know? So yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna go underneath the Tacoma now. And let's see how everything looks under there and let's go ahead and get this on. All right, you guys, let's go right underneath the truck. You can see what I mean about the cats. Okay, so here is one cat, so check this out. So you see how it's not quite in the middle. It's not as easy to get to, you know, usually with trucks, they'll be like right in this area. Super easy to cut out. But no, instead we have it tucked in here. So this already does make it a bit harder for people to steal them. Cause you see how this bar is also here covering and it's just a bit harder to get the saw to maneuver through here. So what the box is gonna do though is completely cover it to really make it hard for them and hopefully make them decide it's just not worth it. Let's go to the next car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these bolts on the cross member and this is gonna be done on both sides. So that way we are actually gonna reuse them. And basically these bolts are gonna hold up the sides of the cat shield. And then let me scoot underneath the car a bit more. So you see these holes right here. So these holes are where the longer bolts that the cat shield came from are gonna go through. So essentially the cat shield is gonna be here. The screws are, are really long, so you're gonna go through these holes down here, come up to the adapter plate that is threaded that will hold them in place. So, so three points of holding it up, right here and each side's cross member bolts. So let's go ahead and let's remove the cross members and then let's see if we can get it on. I will admit, I do wish I had waited till the Tacoma was lifted about an inch or two. <laughs> just to give me a bit more room to work, but that's okay. It's a learning experience, guys. You guys, so you will be using a 12 uh, millimeter to take off these cross member bolts. You know, nothing too crazy. You know, just get, the, get it on there and just unscrew them. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna take off both sides and then we'll go on to the next part. I did put the plate down here. I will be doing a sort of test fit. I do have to hold it up also while I screw it in. So I'm actually gonna be seeing if this Amazon box can suffice to hold it up enough. Let's go ahead and let's get to that. All right, you guys, let's see what we got. So I did a little bit unconventional. So I did a screw and a brace on each side. I kind of like angled it up since I don't have a jack to hold it up. As you can see, it looks pretty good so far. So it's gonna be up against those holes up here, like I said. So for now, I am gonna tighten up these bolts just to, uh, you know, basically hold it in place for me. So now it's gonna be the somewhat harder part of getting in those bolts. So I'll go ahead and show you why it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But, you know, let's go ahead and let's, let's get to it. All right, you guys, so check this out. All right, so here are the brackets. Brackets are on both sides, so it's nice and secure on the side. So now we just have to do the front. So see this bracket right here? So that's gonna go right here. Let me turn this around to the screen. So that's gonna go right above this. So you see this black cross member right there? It doesn't go right above it because it's essentially hollow. And then it's gonna be a really long screw that goes through each of these three holes. It's gonna go through this. I do have to remember that this curved part is supposed to be pointed towards the driver's side. And that's the only real thing to remember. So now let's see if I could go ahead and get it in there and secure it. will definitely take a little bit of uh, gymnastics from me because it does get a little tight right there due to that being the front of the All right, so I'm actually get them in. So it was a bit of a pain. So I basically had to hold the uh, that little panel with the three uh, threadings on it 
above the black bar that this is attached to and run a really long screw through it at the same time. But as old to do it, this will definitely be much easier if you have a jack so you have more room to work under it. But even with my TRD off-road stock suspension, I was still able to fit under. So let's go ahead and let's look at it from the front now. All right, you guys, it is done. Let's get underneath there. Let me inch under there real quick. Get the light in. So there we go. Cat shield is there. Look at that. It says Miller Cat on the side. I really do think this will be a good deterrent in terms of theft. You know, it looks just pretty good. I mean, it also does act as a sort of skid plate right there as well. It's pretty happy with the protection it will be providing. So let me get out from underneath the car and give a few last minute thoughts and precautions. All right, you guys, so it is all done. You know, definitely was not the hardest install ever, to be honest. I just had some space limitations. If I were to ever do this again, I would definitely, you know, jack the truck up a little bit just to make it easier. And then that's it. I was still able to make work though, so I'm happy about that. Uh, you know, one thing to note is these are the security bits. You know, use these for the security screws underneath. I would definitely keep them someplace safe so that if you ever need to work on it again, you know, you don't end up losing them. I'm probably gonna keep them somewhere in the truck, probably just, you know, in one of the compartments, one of the many compartments the truck has, just so if I or anyone else needs it, you know, it's not a pain in the butt. Uh, so yeah, you know, Miller Cat Shield, once again, a link to it is below to buy it on Amazon. Awesome product, definitely recommend it for keeping your truck more secure. And with that guys, this is Rob and have a good one.